This is a story yeah. of the shipmen. Once upon a time, there was a merchant who had an unusually beautiful wife. Their house was often filled with guests. One of these guests was a monk named Sir John. Sir John tells the merchant they are closely related. They are cousins, on which the merchant answers, Oh nice, from now on, you'll always be my bro. The merchant tells the monk he can stay for a few days. He's leaving for Bruch tomorrow. During his stay at the merchant's. The merchant's wife wants to go shopping, so she begs the merchant for money. But the merchant doesn't want to give her the money. Can you please give me 100 francs so I can buy new clothes? Later that day, the monk encounters the merchant's wife in the garden. Hey! Oh, hey! And they start confessing secrets. The wife says she isn't happy with her husband because he doesn't want to give her any money to go shopping. She would do anything for that money. On which the monk thinks, hmm, that is interesting. The monk says, you know what, I'll give you the money tomorrow when your husband leaves for Bruges. On which the wife answers, oh really, that would be awesome, you're the best. Then he draws the wife to him, kisses her madly and confesses his desire for her. I love you, I'm looking forward to our time alone. Then the monk goes to the merchant to ask him for a favor. The monk says, hey bro, can you loan me some money so I can buy some cattle? I'll totally pay you back. On which the merchant answers, sure bro, no problem. Alright, thanks. The merchant gave him the money and left for Bruges. The next Sunday, the monk revisits the merchant's wife. The monk says that he will give her the 100 francs she needs in return for sex. The wife agrees with the monk and the monk could have sex with the wife all night. The shipman returns from Bruges and visits the monk in his abbey. The shipman asks the monk for his borrowed money, but he tells him he repaid his wife already. The shipman returns home and asks his wife for his money. She tells him she spent the 100 francs. The shipman is angry. The wife tells the shipman she'll repay him in bed. The shipman accepts, but tells her to never do something like that again. The end. Created using Powtoon.